Uh ho, Deranged Duncan back here with another video, and what a weekend. I just went through. It was nuts. It was a lot of fun. So many memories were made. Big trip to Las Vegas happened. Got to see an abandoned water park. Got to go to Ring of Honor, 16th anniversary show, which featured a pretty big surprise or two. <laughs> yeah. Definitely too sweet. I'll say that. But there was also uh, some other great adventures out there, including the Saw Experience, which was an escape room. There was about five rooms, if I remember correctly, and you had to figure out the clues, find ways to escape. Oh, man. And ironically enough, in our group was a pro wrestler by the name of the Trash King, Ray Basura. 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 I'm used to saying basura, but it's basura if you don't know how to say it <laughs> in Spanish. But uh, the Trash King, who was part of Blood Brothers Pro Wrestling's Crimson Cup. That was pretty cool, hanging out with him. Also got to see Jerry Seinfeld live and in person. That was nuts. And just an overall fun time in Vegas. So many memories made. Had fun hanging out with my girlfriend, Amy. Her sister, Amber. Amber's husband, Daniel. Just great memories. Everybody's awesome. Thanks, guys, for being along for the great adventures and the great times in Las Vegas, in Barstow, or wherever the hell that water park was. We survived. Yes, we did. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you the little meet and greet that happened at Sam's Town in Vegas for Ring of Honor. Because it was some Bullet Club meet and greet going on. Oh yeah. So check it out. And thanks Amy for capturing some of the cool footage. And then after that, you'll see the autographs that I got. It's a good amount of them. I'll definitely say that. Oh shit. Sam's Town Live. Ring of Honor. There's the merchandise set up. This is the line. About an hour before the meet and greet. Featuring the Young Bucks. Cody Rhodes, many more. Time to see how that goes. Oh man, Ring of Honor, 16th anniversary show. Oh, here we are. We are all in. That's right, Ring of Honor meet and greet going on right now. There's the Bucks, Cody. Got the needle over there. Poolside. Oh man. Oh shit. We got Hangman Page over here. Oh man. Here they all are. <laughs> Getting ready for the autograph session right now. Six man or here. Oh. All right, here, let me get the. Yeah. It's so dumb. I'm not gonna fight for it. I'm not gonna 
fast, right? It's so dumb to begin with. So at this point, like, I could use it and there wouldn't be any issue. Yeah, there's some people whose relationship's really good and, like, a few, like, lawyers and... They're all back inside. Here's the ROH merch table. You get DVDs, Blu-rays, shirts. Oh, Matt Tavern is right here. Look at that. Looking around trying to sell stuff. Hey, uh -oh. doofus. Yes. I know you're shaped like an amoeba, but put your phone away unless you're buying a Kingdom t-shirt. Oh, I got called out. That is food repellent, and I do not need you around me at all. Oh, shit. Why did your waist pop out so you're like a reverse hourglass? Please go away from me. Will do. Oh, man. Yeah, he didn't like cease and desist. And right out here, you got more t-shirts. From Ring of Honor, man, oh man, this is what it's like at the meet and greet. You get some cool shirts from everybody, look at that. <laughs> Ring of Honor, 16 year anniversary show, making it happen. <laughs> right over here is SoCal Uncensored, you buy their comic book. Uh, Christopher Daniels and everybody. Is there a website you guys have for uh, the comic book right here that everybody should know? There you go. You buy it, you're 20% smarter according to these guys right here. Oh, okay. Oh man, and here we go, of course, all the big autographs I got from Ring of Honor's 16th anniversary show, the big meet and greet. There you go. They, well, they're the now former six-man tag team champions. But you got the Young Bucks and Hangman Page. Hangman Page was not uh, put on, he was not originally on the schedule there for the meet and greet. So that was a pretty cool little surprise. Got all three of them. All three are cool dudes. Fucking awesome. Speaking of a cool dude, another one. Cody Rhodes, who happened to win back his Ring of Honor against Matt Taven. <laughs> As you saw what happened when I mispronounced Mr. Taven's name and upset the kingdom at the merchandise table. <laughs> but Cody Rhodes, cool as hell. Great meeting him finally. Now, just got to meet the villain, Marty Skrull. I also got a comic book here from The Addiction or SoCal Uncensored. Yeah, they've had a pretty bad influence, it looks like, in this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, comics. Pretty much a comic book starring Frankie Kazarian and Christopher Daniels. And they signed that. If you flip through it, it looks like some ridiculousness. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. This is going to be over the top. Got to love it. Very Road Warrior-esque there with the makeup. But, man, we'll see how that is. Oh, that's a pretty cool little back cover right there. So that was just that. I got the guys to sign. House of Hardcore 6, which happened out here at Harris Resort. Fun times back in 2014. So now I got Frankie Kazarian, Christopher Daniels, Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson to both sign House of Hardcore, which was already signed by Joey Ryan. So, fuck yeah. This was a tremendous main event that night. There was also a triple threat TLC match. The opening match actually featured... Uh, Joey Ryan versus Tommaso Ciampa. Name might sound familiar. Oh, yes. But, yeah, House of Hardcore 6 had to get it signed by all four dudes, and that was cool. Got some more autographs here. Nice boys don't play rock and roll. PWG, and unfortunately, it looks like the autograph smeared a little bit. But the disc was signed as well, so that's cool. But all I could say is... 
Pro Wrestling Gorilla out here in SoCal. The tickets always sell out within five minutes. And it's because of matches featuring just top-level talent. If you guys have not seen this particular match from Nice Boys Don't Play Rock and Roll, the Young Bucks versus the Lucha Brothers versus Matt Seidel and Ricochet, you better go out and get this DVD or Blu-ray, whatever you find it in. That match is tremendous, as well as some of the other matches on here. God damn, you gotta love it. That's just one PWG DVD I had signed. I got another one signed by the Young Bucks. This is the best of DVD set. Young Bucks 5 stars, which I got, of course. Man, oh man. Pro Wrestling Gorilla. They are, uh, should I say, the elite in SoCal Pro Wrestling these days, so they make it happen. And then... The SoCal Pro debut show. You heard uh, Matt Jackson going, whoa, SoCal Pro. Yeah, they were on the debut show against a damn good tag team in the Ballard Brothers who are wrestling in their 20th and final year. Man, oh man. And then I even brought an FCW flyer from March of 2015. This was one hell of a show. Check out the video on my channel of FCW's Hell's Kitchen from March of 2015 for the highlights of the Vermin versus the Young Bucks. So I had to have the Young Bucks sign that. Yeah, lots and lots of Young Bucks autographs, right? I also got this uh, ROH DVD set here. Another Best of Young Bucks DVD set. Surprise, surprise. Super Kick Party Part 2. Now I just gotta find part one, but man, look at all these guys they faced. Insane. Insane. And then, Mystery Vortex. Now, this is a PWG DVD I bought that was at the merchandise table. Main reason I got it, well, obviously it being PWG, but it was Ricochet's final appearance on the independent scene before going off to WWE. Yeah, there you see some thumbtacks. Look at that. It's also got Joey Janela at this show. Ray Phoenix. All kinds of other great stars. Sammy Guevara. Marty Skrull. Trent. God. Check out PWG whenever you get the chance. But, oh, man. Outside of fantasy, baseball draft happened after the big Vegas trip. Which also featured some cool shit, including the Saw experience and everything. But look at that, when I got a Fleer 1991 card set, it happened to have Randy Johnson. Actually, excuse me, 1989. A Randy Johnson card back when it was with the Montreal Expos. Man, oh man. That's nuts. And the, for those wondering, Nolan Arenado was my first round draft pick. I had the fourth overall pick. There it was. The Insanity. And now... This amoeba, this, uh, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> just, if you want Matt Taven to insult you, I guess just call him Matt Tavern like I accidentally did. And, uh, he will just, he'll let you have it. Yeah. So, this reverse hourglass is signing off. Oh, yeah. See you for the next adventure.